Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Vigito Studio and today I'm gonna share with you three ways to connect parameter with each other. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so in Diamond Shiro is over now, we're on the Fusion page and we're gonna start by demonstrate how do you can connect different parameters using expression. So we're gonna bring here a background in our working area and linking the output of that background to the media out. Then I'm gonna select an ellipse that's gonna be connected to that background. And the first use cases, for example, is here, we would like to link the width and the height together because if I just the width and the height independently, we're losing that circle shape. So to maintain that circle shape, what I want is just right-clicking on width, selecting expression, and then taking the plus right here and dragging it on the height. And now automatically it's gonna link the width and the height together. And if I adjust the height, as you can see, the width slider is moving accordingly. That's just the most common way to link parameter with each other. Right now we've done everything within one node, but you could also connect parameter from one node to another one. So for example, here, if I were to create a second circle by bringing a new background and then bringing another ellipse, linking the output to the background one, and then here changing the color from that background to white. So we can just make the difference between the two. Here I'm gonna connect the width and the height like we just did, and I'm gonna reduce that circle a little bit. Now, what if I want the position of those circles to be the same? So for example, if I move here that white circle, then my black circle will move the exact same way. Well, we can do that by using the exact same method, just we're gonna need to pin here or nod to the inspector, so it's on the inspector at all time, and we can basically have two nodes appearing in the inspector at the same time. Then I'm gonna simply right-click on the position, select expression, and I'm just gonna link the position of ellipse one to ellipse two. And as you can see, if I adjust ellipse two, ellipse one is moving the same way. Now, one thing to note is that the parameter with the expression that has been written, now you cannot make any modification to this one. Now, this parameter will be dependent on the one that doesn't have the expression written on it. Now, another way to connect parameter with each other is using the publishing method. So right now I've just removed the expression. What I could do if I wanted to link the two position together, I could just right click here and center, select publish. And now if I go to the second center right here and I right click on it, I can have the possibility to connect to ellipse one center, which is the one that I've just created right here. And it will have the exact same outcome where now both circle position are linked together. However, compared to the expression method, as you can see now, there is both value in both nodes that are changing. So you can adjust them in here ellipse one and you can adjust it in ellipse two as well. This is usually the technique that I use to link a position to a tracker, for example. So let me show you quickly. So here I've brought some footage in. I'm just gonna hit shift space on my keyboard and search for a tracker node, bring that in. Then here, drag the tracker onto the red light of the bike. I'm just gonna adjust here the window to focus only on that. I'm gonna switch adaptive to best match and then we're just gonna track forward. Now this tracker value, as you can see, has been automatically published. So now if I were to track some text, for example, to that value, I'm just gonna bring here the text node, write something like DaVinci. And here, if I go over to layout, so here we have the position of the text. Now, if I right click on center and I go to connect to, as you can see, now we have multiple options. We have tracker and we have tracker path. For the tracker, you can link it to different kind of value or here you can track it to the path position. That's what we're gonna do right now. And now, as you can see, it just snapped into place to the value of the tracker. And it basically bring all the keyframe from the tracker to the text one. And now we have the text just tracked onto the back of the bike, for example. So that's how you can connect parameter using the publishing method. And now the last method will be instance node. I have another full video about instance node that I can link in the description below if you're interested to learn more about it. Basically, you can create an instance of any node by just selecting your node, copying it, then right-clicking and selecting paste instance. And as you can see now, the two nodes are connected here with a green link. It basically copy the exact same node, but now they are connected with each other. As you can see here, all the value that are highlighted in green will be connected to the original node. But for example, if I go to layout and here I want to disconnect one of the parameter, I can right click here on the position and select the instance. As you can see now, it just removed that green frame around the parameter, meaning that it's not linked anymore to the original node and you can now adjust individually that value. So here I'm just gonna bring that to my composition so you can see it. And now, as you can see, if I adjust here the position, it adjusts the position independently, 
but for example the size right here is still connected to the original node same here for example with the text if i were to just add here some writing they will still be linked to each other so that's pretty useful if you want to have pretty much two identical nodes, except maybe one or two value. Instead of linking everything with an expression, you can just simply use an instance node and have everything linked already by default. And also you should get better performance doing it that way. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.